Welcome back everyone, Kremlin Archer here, time for some more Subnautica. So I think I have pretty much everything I need to make another prawn. I definitely do not have everything I need to make the pressure compensators, although I was working on it. Um, but let's, let's check in here real quick. So we got two aerogel, two lubricant, only one plasteel ingot, but I think that I can, yeah, I can solve that real fast. So let's put away a little bit of this here. Alright, I was out gathering stuff. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but, um, you know, life gets in the way and whatnot. But I got a, I got a decent amount of it done, and I figured, you know, I've already missed one episode. Might as well, uh, try and not do that again. So let's just process all this stuff real quick, and then we will go to our vehicle construction bay, make a new prawn, and then we'll work on getting the pressure compensators that we need. Alright, so I should be able to make, yes, a plasteel ingot. Cool. Alright. So, over here, we require aerogel times two, lubricant times two, aluminum oxide crystals times two, I think that's it, and, you know, ingots times two, but I already got those. And I put the thing right there. There you go. Okay, so, vehicle bay, prawn, plasteel ingot times two. Oh, did I, I forgot to pick it up. I am smart. SMRT. Alright. There we go. Okay, we're up. And we click, click, click. Prawn suit, please. All right, this is prawn suit number two. Of course, we also have um, arms and whatnot that we're going to have to build, which is unfortunate that we lost our arms as well. Lots of things. There's a lot of a lot of progress that we lost when we lost this thing. I'm just gonna put it over here in the Cyclops. This seems like as good a place to any place to store it. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Get some food while we're here. Alright, 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 alright. It's getting dark outside. I wonder, let's see how much, how much of the darkness we eat up by sleeping. It's been a while since we've taken a little nap. Wakey wakey. Oh yes, feeling refreshed. In the still suit that we have worn for oh it's morning good okay let's go look and see what it is that we still require to make um, some pressure compensators Ooh, that's not the ladder there's the ladder all right so pressure compensator mark one where are you Plasteel ingot and computer chip. Well, I have a pla I can make a plasteel ingot if I don't have one already. And computer chips. Welcome aboard, Captain. I believe I have everything I need for that, with the exception of a little table coral. That's not table coral. That coral looks like some tables. Oh, yeah, don't get away. I'm actually going to take several of these because I think I'm going to need multiple computer chips in the near future, so let's just take a bunch. Alright, so take some lithium. This ingot. One plasteel ingot. Two plasteel ingots. And three plasteel ingots. 
Now, for the other stuff, we're gonna have to probably cross the other side of the ship. Or base, as the case may be. And this, I need silver. And gold. What else do we need? I think we might need copper. Wiring kit. Computer chips needs copper wire, yep. I feel like we have copper somewhere. Alright, we got our copper. I did go a little bit of swimming around, but got enough for two cup two two sets of copper wires. So let's get a computer chip going here. Alright, done. Let's go get uh, at least the first level of pressure compensator. Boom. Now I have to take that back across the base to the other fabricator. <laughs> See what we need for future ones. Alright, so... Aluminum oxide, crystal, and computer chip. Well, we can do that without any trouble. So, we need silver and we need gold. Oh, we got a crap ton of gold somewhere. There we go. There's a computer chip. I've already forgotten what we needed here. Aluminum oxide crystal, which we have right here. Alright, there's Mark 1. Or Mark 2, I guess. We had already had Mark 1. For Mark 3, we need three plasteel ingots, aluminum oxide crystal, and a computer chip. I am not going to accomplish that today. I can already tell you that much. Let's go see what we need for, for some arms. Maybe we can build an arm or two real quick. Pretty sure that's back here. Torpedo arm. Grappling arm. Propulsion. I still have not seen whatever this cyanite is. So I need a computer chip for that. Two advanced wiring kits, which take what now? Still lower times two. Oh, no, that's a regular wiring kit. Oh well. Advanced wiring kit takes gold times two and a computer chip. Alright, I don't think we're building any of this today. Let's see, what else do we want to do though? Because I'm not doing any of this right now. Because it's kind of boring to watch. So let's just take our one pressure compensator and I guess we'll just go exploring. We haven't done that in a while, right? And there. 500 meters. That's not too bad. Welcome aboard, Captain. So let's think about. Whoops. Eh, Alright. Oh, there we go. Think about the places we haven't really looked before. We haven't been really along the ocean floor to the um, back end of the Aurora. I feel like that's not a place we've been. Also, I'm kind of running low on food. I suppose we can take our little um, laser knife out and laser, laser some fish. I think we have enough depth to be able to pull this off now. Let's uh, let's laser some fish before we get too far out here. Need something I can eat. Boring fish. Come here, you. Gotcha. All right. All right. One or two more, and we'll be good to go. Come here, you. Jump. Good enough. Alright. So there's the tail end of the Aurora. So I've never seen the driller arm for the... for the, uh, the prawn either. Which is sad. Alright. So there's the tail end of the Aurora. So let's just let's just cruise along the the bottom of the sea here and see what we find. Whoops. Crashing into things. Oh hello, giant reaper. 
Um, I'm just gonna go this way. Please don't mind me. Nothing to see here. Did a lot of... Actually did a bunch of damage there, so let's jump out. What am I getting hurt by? Oh, those... Those things that shoot, shoot little spines out. So this area seems fairly barren. That guy's kind of far from home. You're not in a you're not in a uh, reef. It's a bunch of lead there. It's nothing. Yeah, it's kind of barren out here. Soon we'll come across the like drop off of the mat somewhere soon. It's just like <laughs> completely empty out here with a oh scary guy. Go away from him. Is this supposed to be untextured? Doesn't look so good. All right, let's head back this direction because untextured planes. Says to me that this is not a good place to be. What is that? Something is glowing over there. Hello. What do we have here? Don't mind me. Interesting. I was not expecting to find anything like this. Hello. I don't have my, um... Did it kill it? Where'd it go? It's over there somewhere. I don't have my pr propulsion thing with me. I dropped it off to clear inventory space. So I didn't know we were going to hostile territory. Music is picking up too. Let's keep going back this direction. Tempted to go down, but I feel like back is better. Let's just drink this water then. It's another gate. I don't have one of those things to activate it with. Pink cap. What is this? Alien floral sample. Hmm. You need one of those, like, cube things, right? Isn't that what we used to activate it before? Well, we'll think about that. Let's finish exploring this cave and then we'll come back. We'll go get one of those power cube things and come back. Maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be a power cube somewhere in this place. Here. There doesn't really seem to be anything in this little ditch here. Yep, nothing down here. Huh. 
All right, what about over here? Anything over here? I think the gate is probably the main event here. I'm not sure if we're gonna find anything else. Nothing there. All right, yep, so the gate's the main event. Let me go get one of those power cubes and we'll come back um, and we'll see what happens. To leave this, the uh, it'll leave this here so I know where I'm going. All right, we're back. I'm really hoping that this thing isn't one of those things that has to be powered on from a different from the other side. I brought both a ion crystal and a purple artifact, hoping that one or both of them would would get us what we want here but I'm scared that it's not going to and this was just a waste of like five minutes of my time all right come around the corner here please do something oh here we what no nope, that was that Damn it. I think this thing powers on somewhere else. Ah. Well, that is annoying. I want to go into the gate. I want to go in the, the teleporter and teleport somewhere interesting. I don't think there's another, um, I don't see a control pad anywhere. We'll just do a quick cir circle of the walls here. I don't really remember what it looked like in the other one. I don't remember it being particularly uh, hard to see. So this is clearly like the, this is like the exit point of some something. Okay, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a new uh, way to activate this thing right now, so, um, yeah, that's that's too bad. I guess I'll go check by the front door real quick and make sure that I didn't miss it over there, but I'm pretty sure that, that it's nothing. This is nothing. This is nothing. This is nothing. It's still like a double back. That's nothing. Nothing back up in this corner. Out of my way. There's nothing to attach to here. Yep. Alright, well. Oh well. All right, I'm going to stop here for today and I will I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.